Hey, you beautiful people. Um, I felt really um, inspired to just jump on here for a minute or two, a little bit longer, <laughs> um, to share um, this with you. It's something that has been percolating, stirring up in me for the last several weeks, actually, um, probably the best part of a month or so and, and kind of beyond that. But it's in these last few weeks, it's really dropped into really 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 sharp focus um, and I felt it was really important to share it with you especially at this time um, and it's something that has been showing up a lot within my consultations and I've just finished cons uh, consulting for the day so it feels really really kind of tuned in and um, sharply in focus in this moment in time um, and it's been showing up in conversations that I've been having with people around me as well. So many people within the consultations have been saying to me, you know what, Shane, I just feel really kind of like exhausted. I feel really, really tired. I feel really empty. I feel disorientated. It's almost like a spark has gone out. Um, and I just kind of feel like just flat um almost like partially numb um and really 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 kind of empty and i've been hearing that for a little while now and it's a consistent it's a consistent um story that i am hearing um and i you know in the last week or so i've been hearing spirit really unpack that and unravel it um, and here's the thing to kind of consider is that we have to be really mindful around not losing our relationship to joy okay we are living in in times where our relationship to joy has absolutely been very deeply over fragmented smashed apart ripped away from us stolen from us and we've been absolutely completely fucking well thrown into and immersed into a huge amount of uncertainty and trauma now the thing is that has been happening for for some time so what we've got is a sense of collective fatigue we are coming out of winter this side of the world at least we are coming out of winter i wouldn't say that i've got my medicine blanket around me i feel kind of quite 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 kind of comfortable um but we are we we are coming out of winter so yes we could have the fatigue of winter but i really do feel that it runs a lot more deeply than that you know and and i really do feel that you know i just kind of like even as i'm talking to you i can feel in real time these nudges and i'm reminded of the wayfinder that is sitting on my hand and the intention that is woven into this beautiful tattoo which was for our kin our clan our tribe and community to to never lose their way so you know in a way that this message is kind of echoing that as well is you know spirit have been saying is that you know over time that that beautiful relationship to looking forward to you know waking up in the morning and kind of you know like we we're talking about spring you know waking up and feeling that spring in your step you know all of that has been really kind of you know broken apart by what we have lived through and what we are currently living through you know so many people were like oh you know what you know kind of relieved um that the uh the craziness of the last couple of years you know come the other side of it come the other side of the uh pandemic and in like wanting to take a breath out and then boom the next lot of trauma the next lot of trauma the next lot of trauma and you know i kind of look at all of that and think you know well what we're going through right now you know you know <laughs> none of it none of it none of it makes sense you know 
but I do not believe for one moment it's a random uh, event or events, you know. This to me feels I absolutely engineered. Um, and listen, they blatantly told us. They blatantly put it in front of us. They blatantly told us the new normal. Right, and what we've got to be really, really careful of that we don't just drift so far away from joy that the new normal becomes the a uh, 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 rooted, anchored state is it is such a in such a way that joy is not a part of that. Okay, we've got to be really mindful that we don't drift so far away from it the the lack of joy becomes so normalized that it no longer is, exists within us that we just become like numb empty robotic you know and if you kind of look at all of this it would be easy for that to happen um you know and and we kind of you know take a step take a look at this you know you kind of like when you look out into the collective um, it, so many people were kind of saying that that's, that's how they're feeling and I think what we've got to try to do is, is, is nourish and foster that joy in amongst each other we've got to kind of really support each other in fostering and nurturing and nourishing and caretaking and tending that love and that joy and that goodness and with um austera estera weekend ahead of us this is a really golden opportunity to re-spark some of that you know re-spark some of that you know um because what it's doing is it's kind of taking us and you could say there is an upside to this as well and i want to explore that but you, you know it's taking us deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into that place you know the other aspect to that is deeper and deeper and deeper into ourselves and there is a healing aspect to that is you know we have to go on the you know the hermit's journey go deep within go inward to heal those wounds but no this is that you know could be some of the gifting within within this but no that is not what i feel is um going on underneath underneath and and certainly not what the innate feel the innate feel is if we are being so moved and removed from joy that it becomes the new normal and they blatantly fucking well put that in front of us um they mention that and they blatantly did put it in front of us they mentioned it and said the new normal you know and if you look out into the collective you've got children sort of like under the age of six that don't know any different you know and you've got this kind of you know beautiful beautiful parents that are going through immense trauma um and that's kind of like you know that that becomes so normalized then you know the children are kind of not being shown any different so we've we've got to really kind of like you know really um bring about this sense of kind of um unity and really really tending to each other caretaking each other breathing back the spark of life okay and what it means to be human what it means to to love and to feel that fire within us that that passion and that energy because ultimately otherwise what we do is we become like numb and we become zombified um, and I do not say that lightly because you know when you get people and you get you know at mass collective level you know society just becoming kind of very very empty we become very very pliable then um, you know it's a bit like um, that that boiling frog metaphor the frog doesn't know that it's boiling um you know it's in 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 a pan for the water and very gently very slowly you know, that heat is being turned up and before it knows it is boiled 
you know, and that kind of in a way is what we are going through. And you know, you might be feeling like, oh my God, you know, how can you, how can you change that? How we change it is by tending and caretaking and looking out for and looking after each other. Um, you know, the human spirit has a mass amount of resilience. It has a mass amount of goodness. And the more that we can come together and, and look out for each other and look after each other. And, you know, if you're sitting there at home thinking, Do you know what, I just don't want to see anybody or, or, you know, I can't be bothered, you know, which is where this takes us it leads us into this place where we just want to kind of hide um under the covers you know it's that sense of shutting down and removing ourselves then maybe the best thing to do is go and pick up the phone um go and um take a journey to go and see some people you know take up that invite to go and sit around someone else's table or grab a few friends, all bring a dish and bring it into a, into a table. You know, go for a walk with some friends. Um, go out there within nature. Um, go and light that fire. Sit around that fire and share some stories. Um, you know, we really, really do need to um, cultivate and spark that joy. Otherwise, what we're going to wake up with is so far down the line is we become so removed from it it becomes that new normal and then you've lost all sense of what it actually means you know i think that we are we're being completely totally upped over and fragmented but you know what we can cut new templates we can do things differently um and i think it is it's it's kind of like without a doubt not not losing ourselves to this and i know i know that that is not easy but when you can kind of see and you join up all those dots and you see what's going on then you can start to kind of like just step back and yes all the time we're being just pressured and pressured and pressured but we you know we can get through this and ultimately we can only do what we can do. We can only do what we can do. And none of this, none of this is your fault, our fault. You know, it's like, how can you work any longer or harder? Um, you know, I don't feel that, you know, taking on four jobs really truthfully is the answer. There's no longevity in that and and you know it's kind of so anchored and rooted in fear so there's some of the things that i wanted to share and talk to you about especially as we approach this weekend this weekend you know all rooted um and anchored in renewal um you know it is um you know the beginnings of a whole new cycle cycle of time you know estera austera all to do with the re-emergence of spring um and what was once dead comes back to life okay think about all the metaphors think about all the symbology of this time um and i've got um a couple of other things um that you can really weave in one is a really really beautiful simple piece of candle magic that you can work with um, so you can get yourself a white candle, place it there on a fireproof dish, all safe and sound. Light that white candle and very gently, simply um, say this. I've got the words here that um, are in my journal. Seed of what I wish to be. So seed of what I wish to be. Grow and bud and bloom in me. How beautiful is that? Seed of what I wish to be, grow and bud and bloom in me. You can say that three times. And then very gently close that spell by saying, by the power of three times three, this is my will, so may it be. And you could spend a bit of time journaling. You could spend a little bit of time in journaling, thinking, you know, 
and it's something that we've been working with within our um, clan and tribe and community um, beyond the hedge we've been working with what we are awakening to what is way awakening in us and ultimately just stirring and feeding that fire within and becoming very aware of what we are awakening into this spring what is awakening in us and what we're awakening into and who are we and we took this beautiful drum journey that joe led us into to meet bridget and we explored those questions and then we wove some prayer arrows that we're going to drive into the ground at beltane um and it is it's it's kind of like stirring that up so think about that you know you could journal what is awakening in you and then when you kind of light that candle and do that candle magic seed of what i wish to be grow and bud and bloom in me how beautiful and then what you could do is you could rattle it i'm just going to get one of our rattles let's get one of our rattles you get medicine rattle and you could just rattle around you They're beautiful, just very, very beautiful. They're handcrafted by my good self. Just absolutely stunning rattles, these. Beautiful. Um, and what you're doing is you're shaking up all that energy. You know, you've, you've lit the candle, you've journaled, and then you set that intention, seed of what I wish to be, grow and bud and bloom in me. And then you're rattling and you're shaking all that up. You're just kind of stirring it all up. You're charging it up. You know, and this is something you could do with a group of friends. So this is our gift to you. This is Stora, um, Ostara. This is their gift to you. You know, we're here to not take. We are absolutely here to gift, especially at this time and in these times. Um, so it's something you could do with a group of friends, you know, you could you could do that. And you imagine having a collective tray of candles and you've journaled and you've then set that intention and you've rattled. Or if you've got drums, drum. Um, I've got my drum here. Look at this beautiful. I birthed this beautiful medicine drum that I call the mending drum. So it's a clan and tribe drum. Um, that I'm going to show you now but I call it the mending drum look at the spokes on that drum it's got some lava kite in the handle that's come from the fords in Sweden lava kite and this is reindeer hide and I birthed this with beautiful medicine sister and elder Dory Joy, just such a beautiful drum, and um, you could drum. It's really beautiful. drum
for a lot longer because after a while I can hear the vibration then off the drum as I'm speaking after a while you get into a certain resonance and also science is saying you know percussion changes the brainwave pattern and you go into a slightly hypnotic trance state drums are probably one of the first instruments that we've ever had you know they're so hardwired into a indigenous roots and their psyche and the other thing is it absolutely drums up that fire in the core of your belly So you imagine it is a group of you or you've you've done your candle magic by yourself and you drum those prayers into being um you you drum up that fire and that energy right in the core of your being you drum it up let it rise as spring rises um and you know this these practices what they tend to do is they nourish and nurture and foster that fire within which i feel you know based on the uh beginning part of our conversation is really really highly deeply important so this is our gift to you um something that i felt really inspired and nudged nudged to do as i finished up consulting today um yeah food for thought i'm but I really do feel that, you know, we have these tools that are, you know, <laughs> they've been around for such a long time because they work. And as spirits say, we're in a cycle of return. We're being woven back into the center that, you know, in remembering these tools, we have a pathway forwards. Until next time, lots and lots of love. Keep shining, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. And if you've done the ceremony, I'd love to hear about that. If you have a drum and you drum, we would love to hear all about that. Um, so, yeah, keep shining. Lots and lots of love. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.